folks. So this is my first attempt at imaging the sun and I would call it a success for my very first time out. Um, I like the end result. What we're looking at right now is just um, one of the videos I captured of the sun. I just have it on repeat right now. And I used the exact same setup that you saw in the previous video with my wide field scope and the Daystar quark filter. And the only difference um, from that, the previous video is that I didn't need that tilt adapter. The ASI 183 camera didn't seem to produce Newton's ring, so that's just one less piece um, that uh, I don't need. And in terms of the diagonal, the diagonal had a lot of questions, and a lot of people were worried, is it going to melt? But uh, uh, my friend actually did smoke his diagonal, it, it, literally smoking, but uh, you're safe if you have um, an 80 mm scope or less. Anything above that, you're going to want to put a UVIR filter in front of that diagonal. Otherwise, um, like me, I have an 80 mm scope. I was fine with the diagonal I was using. So um, let me show you the pictures as I progress through it. Now, I didn't actually record my session as I was um, capturing the sun. I, I, I could have shown you how I was doing the focus and moving my mount around manually. Um, I just didn't think anything was going to come up today because it's my first time out, and I, this is, I thought it was just a more of a practice run. But... Uh, it, it, it seemed to be, uh, it seemed to go okay, and in terms of polar alignment, I just took my best guess with the AVX mount. Um, it, it held the sun in place pretty good, so I was surprised. I didn't have to keep readjusting it for the sun to keep it centered. No, it was fine, so I wouldn't worry too much about polar alignment, because obviously you can't do it during the day unless you, you do it the night before, you mark on the cement where it's going to where it should be, but I didn't even do any of that. Now it's fine. So anyway, let me show you the pictures as I as I progress through them here. So this is what Auto Stacker produced. Um, I, this is one of the videos I captured. I this isn't the full resolution, so I can capture more of this than what you see here. But this is the the video I decided to use, and this is the result after I ran Auto Stacker on it, and. Um, I'm going to go into more detail what I did with Auto Stacker and everything in the next time. And once I learn, I, I don't want to be like the blind leading the blind right now. As I learn more, I'll, I'll divulge more of what the heck I'm doing here. But um, this is what I, I got out of Registax. It, you can see a lot more textures here. Um, now, let me go back to this other one. Now, seeing was not good today. And I think in the future, I should be able to do a, a much better job of um, getting in focus. And I, I'd like to see a lot more of the textures in the video itself. But for now, um, Registax did help bring that out. And after I used Registax, I did uh, some Photoshop editing to try and sharpen it a little bit more. And you can see I did have some dust specks going on here and here. In here, and um, I should have done a better job cleaning my equipment. Now you can capture flats for this, but I don't want to get into flats. Um, next time, I'm, I'm gonna just make sure my equipment is clean. Uh, it's pretty obvious if you have dust specks in the while you're recording the video. So if I see any, I'm gonna take everything apart, make sure everything is clean, and put it back together again. Finding the sun wasn't really that hard, by the way. Um, in fact, I was I found the sun actually pretty easily. I just didn't know I had found it because I was out of focus. Once I, I just kept moving the focuser out and out, and, yep, well, there's the sun. It, it showed up. So, uh, okay, this is, um, I used PixInsight after this. You can see that before, and I used Clone Stamp and PixInsight for now to get rid of those dust specks. And that did a pretty good job, but I don't really like using clone stamp. Um, I'd rather just make sure my equipment is clean. And after that, uh, I just made it a little more vibrant to give it a little more pop. I did this in Photoshop again. So I, I am a total noob when it comes to Photoshop. That's something I'm, I'm going to really have to hone my skills at. So anyway, uh, I kind of like the end result. I didn't really get any prominences. I really wasn't too concerned about that. I'm just trying to 
okay, I see the sun, let me play around the focus, and I wasn't trying to get do anything fancy yet. So maybe next time I'll try and go around the perimeter of the sun and try to find prominences. And that's what I'm working up for Deep Sky right now. I've got four hours so far of the Whirlpool Galaxy, but that's another story. I'll have a different video for that when I'm done. Um, anyway, that's all I got for now. This is a lot of fun playing around with the sun, but man, I, I got a long way to go because there's some really cool stuff you can do with the sun, and I'm, I'm only scratching the surface right now. Okay, I will see you guys later.